One of the first things that impressed me was the vastness of Lake Bonneville. The realization of how extraordinarily huge this body of water was. It was incredible. And you know, you're driving around on, in the deserts there, and you're realizing that 15,000 years ago, it had been at the bottom of a thousand foot deep lake. Now, here you are, you're in the desert, right? Dry as a bone. And 15,000 years ago, you would have been at the bottom of a lake a thousand feet deep. Obviously, something changed. Something, <laughs> I mean, as it is now, the environment of this area in, in Utah does not support the existence of hard, hardly any lake at all. Great Salt Lake is the remnant of Lake Bonneville. It varies from season to season depending on the amount of rainfall, 20 to 30 feet in depth. So, I mean, it's minuscule compared to ancient Lake Bonneville. I mean, there's no way you could have Lake Bonneville without having an extraordinarily amplified volume of rainfall or precipitation.